Good morning, City Church. Welcome to another day to worship the Lord. And even though this is uh, in this strange time of the coronavirus where we're not gathered together for worship, this is still the great and glorious day that God invites us into his presence to worship him. And so while we may be scattered, we join together spiritually with the church across the world. We've been in a sermon series on the Psalms, on the emotional life of the Psalms, and one of the things that we've learned is that God shapes our emotions, that he takes where we are, invites us to come to him with where we are, whether it's anger or sadness or bitterness or frustration or fear or joy, he invites us to come to him and promises that he will take us and our emotions and shape us into the image of Christ. And so this morning, no matter where you are, uh, I invite you to come to him. We don't just come to God with smiles on our face. Many of you this week had uh, frustration with the beginning of school. Many of you had excitement with the beginning of school. You all are in this period of work being a frustration. We're in this period of unsurety of fear and anxiety maybe, and the Lord asks us to come to him as we are. Jesus says in Matthew 11, come to me all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So I invite you this morning, come to the Lord as you are. Don't feel like you have to put on a certain face, a certain kind of emotion in order to come to the Lord. Come as you are and ask that he would change you and shape you and build you up into the image of Christ. We, later this afternoon, we're going to have communion uh, at the Riverside Assembly Hall. I invite you to come to that. I invite you to come and come with others whom you've worshipped with or your neighborhood group or you know live near you. Uh, come and celebrate the Lord's Supper together. That'll be from 11.30 to 1.30 at the Riverside Assembly Hall. And I'll, I'll echo Aaron's reminder last week to give. This is a time where we don't see each other. The weekly reminder of the basket passing uh, isn't there. And so be intentional about giving. Uh, give to God's work in our church and give generously um, so that the work of his church can continue and flourish and so that we can offer uh, financial help to people inside and outside of our church. I pray that your time this morning worshiping would be a joy and that you would find rest for your soul in Jesus.